Hey guys, it's She. Welcome to another video and the first backyard baseball video on my channel today. I'm joined here with Voltage Sports. We did a two player draft. The audio was messed up, so we're doing post commentary over this. Um, we have Voltage at this point. If you want to jump in, talk about how we picked the team. Uh, what's up, guys? So, how I picked the team? Um, I was pretty much just going through picking names that I've heard of, cards I know are good, and then I also threw in a uh, the Maria Luna card because uh, I wanted to have one fictional player in the lineup. But I picked uh, very popular players. You've probably heard of most of them. Uh, I picked Jeter, Bonds, Pujols, Alex Rodriguez, Sammy Sosa, Carlos Beltran, Randy Johnson, and Ken Griffey Jr. Randy Johnson should be a pretty solid pitcher. And then uh, this is actually we were calling it the steroid squad. <laughs> Because most of the players on this team <laughs> took steroids at some point. Yeah, and what's funny is, like, after we recorded this, I found out how to get Backyard Baseball 2001, where not only could you have all the steroid guys from this current team, but we could also get Mark McGuire and Jose Canseco. <laughs> We're definitely going to have to do that. Yeah, so Steroid Squad Part 2 will do uh, some other time TBD. Yeah, you can see here we're picking the team. While the team gets picked, um, you know, do you, you want to talk about, I guess, what our goals are for the clan, for our channels in the upcoming yeah, we gotta, weeks and months? We can start with the clan first. My hope with the clan is kind of, I like the idea that we're doing with this collab. I feel like it gets everybody more involved and will help everybody's channel. And I just think that um, it was important because it's getting everybody active. I know every our, a lot of us including me and me included we just got kind of inactive there towards the end so with the collabs and everything it keeps everybody involved on a weekly basis and yeah should keep the whole clan active yeah i think like for me i've been uploading pretty much every day i mean you know there's been a day or two here and there where life just gets too busy but yeah i can honestly the say like the whole month of december i don't know if i did a single like real collab yeah i haven't done a single collab on my channel up until this point so this really helps me out a lot i know yeah i know collabs it helps you know introduce new channels to people um you know it it brings fans of other people's channels to you and it sends your fans to other channels with that for you right. the viewers who i'm saying hey we're bringing you guys to all our channels we're also bringing you a lot more content and with collabs, I think there's a lot more creative content out there. Because I completely I'm, agree with that. Yeah, because instead of just your normal pack opening or your normal gameplay, or like my weekly update guide, we you know might look at gameplay features that you can only really test when you have two people working on it. Because in a ranked head-to-head, -head, your opponent's going to know what you're doing, take advantage of it, and you're not going to be able to do what you want. Right. And then with the clan, too, like our common bond is MLB Perfect Inning Live, but I think something we should say and then touch on more is the fact that our collabs are not going to be strictly MLB Perfect Inning Live and honestly not even strictly baseball because this is a baseball game. Not to say that a lot of our collabs won't be baseball or MLB Perfect Inning Live related, but we'll have some other stuff. Yeah, like me and Elliot's collab, we should be going up tomorrow. It's a Mad Mobile collab, so that's a little bit different. Yeah, and what make sure, guys, make sure you're subscribed to Voltage Sports because this is part of the seven days of uh, the bullpen kickoff collaboration special. And tomorrow, the collaboration video will be uploaded to Voltage Sports channel, and you don't want to miss that. He was telling me before we started recording, it sounds like it was a pretty uh, interesting video without trying to spoil anything. Yeah, it was crazy. <laughs> Don't want to miss it. Yeah, and I know you had talked about doing console games too. Yes, I'm going to try and get... Uh, I'm definitely going to be doing Madden and NBA, and we were talking last night. I might even do NASCAR, just that's something very unique. There's not too many NASCAR uh, YouTubers, so that'd be something unique. Plus also Fortnite, all that good stuff. 
I also want to be streaming consoles, so I just really want to expand my channel in 2018, get lots more games, lots more people involved with the channel. Yeah, and I mean, I had talked a lot more about what I was going to do when we recorded yesterday, but where this is a condensed version of the game, I actually made a video of my YouTube goals for 2018 that's going to drop tomorrow. Um, so I'll save that information for there, but I am planning to expand to more games, certainly... As you can see by the fact I'm playing backyard baseball, I can do computer games now. I don't think I'm going to get into console yet, just because that would involve buying a console. And to buy a console, I'd need to have enough time to play a console. As you can see, Pablo hit a home run because we didn't get him. So we fell behind 1-0. But certainly computer games, and then... Uh, also live streaming because the way I record computer games is OBS, a so live streaming uh, software. And then I also found what might hopefully work for streaming mobile games, which is actually an update between last night and today. Mm -hmm. I used Omelette for the longest time. You know what that is, Omelette Arcade? That's yeah. That's a good live streaming system. I was using that to stream like a week ago. And I couldn't keep a stream connected for more than a minute, and then it would disconnect because of poor internet. Hmm. I've had some issues with it, but I've never had that happen. Yeah. No, but I found Cool Pixel, and they have like a 15-minute time limit, but they also have where you can apply for a free pro account. Mm -hmm. And I applied for that like a week ago, and they responded yesterday saying, hey, you did everything you needed to to get the free account. Uh, send us your email and we'll set you up. So hopefully I'll be getting set up with that. And uh, that'd be nice. Yeah. And no, cool pixel. I've seen. I know we had talked about like our inspirations for YouTube. Well, yeah, I was talking about uh, how greatness MM came back. Now it's just greatness, but yeah, that was one of the big inspirations for me. He's back on YouTube now. Excited for that. But uh, yeah, I remember he made a video on how to do YouTube on your phone, and that was really the start for me because then it was like, well, I mean, if he can do it, I can do it, and that kind of just got the ball rolling. Right, and for me, I I was watching TD Barrett, and I saw he was streaming from, or not streaming, but recording from an iOS device. I'm like, well, he's not going to hack his own phone. So if right. he's streaming from, I or recording from iOS, I can record from iOS. Right. And then Video Gadgets Journal, they've got a ton of resources on how to record. I went there. That's a great channel. Right, because for a while I was recording to my computer. The computer stopped working. But VGJ, I was able to find these recorders I could get off the internet. And it's really kept my channel alive, growing my channel. And the next step is there is some resources on streaming that I've been looking into. Mm-hmm. So yeah, hopefully something there will work. Otherwise, it will just be a matter of my home Wi-Fi not being very good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and right, right now we're in the top of the sixth. I think it's one out and nobody on, and Barry Bonds is up. Uh, I guess just for an update based on where we are for last night's game. But we are showing the entire sixth inning. All right. Because wouldn't you agree it's pretty must-watch? It is a must-watch. Do not leave now. <laughs> if you want to see the rest, trust me. Yeah, absolutely. Um, oh, I guess what else is there to talk about? Uh, I'm trying to think. Well, I'll talk a little more. I want to also uh, start playing World of Survival. It's kind of like uh, Fortnite but mobile. I'm going to be uploading a video on that very soon. So that's another game that I want to start playing. Okay. So that's something. Yeah, and then I guess something we didn't talk about yesterday, but I'll mention now, is that uh, like Elliot has a pretty big uh, trading card collection. And mine's not quite as big, but I have a decent collection. We're thinking about doing something like we each pick out a cool trading card we have and do like a trading card of the week. That would be cool. Yeah, I, I mean, it wouldn't... A, I also have a decent size training card collection. So that I would mean, be cool. hey, you can probably join us, even. 
I think I'm going to have to join you guys. Yeah. I'll, we'll mention it to him later, and I, I don't think he'll have a problem with it. All right, cool. Yeah. It'll be interesting, you know. I know I have, like, a LeBron James high school basketball card. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I literally found it under a couch. If you want to know why I found it under a couch and why I have a LeBron James high school basketball card, you're going to have to tune in for that series. Or Definitely collaborate on it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think it'll be cool, you know, do some stories with trading cards because I think like a lot of channels you just see people trying to open and get these crazy pulls. And they don't 99% of the time. Right. And, like, there's nothing wrong with watching those videos, but I think sometimes it's kind of cool um, if someone has, like, a trading card that actually means something to them. Hey, it's real Luna batting. When she hit the ground rule double to give us the lead. Anyways, you know, it's kind of cool to hear, you know, like, somebody who has trading cards that mean something to them and what it means to them. Right. I'd much rather watch that than just a regular old pack opening. Yeah. So that'll probably be a series. Um, If you're looking for something to comment on this video... You can certainly let us know what kinds of collabs you'd like to see. I think that couldn't hurt. Yeah, definitely will not hurt. We'll definitely take any feedback. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Do we want to talk about squash at all or not really? I mean, we can talk about it a little bit. All right. Might as well. Yeah, it's probably that time. Talk about squash. Talk about what happened with the old clan. So I posted my I quit video. That was kind of to stir up excitement. Like, by the time I had quit, we already knew what we were doing. Right. (laughs) And basically what it boiled down to, and you had said this last night, is, like, you remembered Squash using the squeeze bunt against you, right? Right, yeah, like, in the very beginning of the YouTuber season, like, he was, like, the first or second person I played. And I remember, like, there were at least two or three times in that five-game series. It was only a five-game series. There were at least two or three times where he squeeze bunted on me and won from it. And just, like, I just kind of passed him on at the time. But, like, he just kept doing it and kept doing it. We've kept telling him how, like, we want him to stop doing it, but he's just not stopping it. It just keeps continuing and continuing. Yeah, I think... And that's why I just found everybody's nerves so much. Yeah, I think Elliot had a problem with it, too. For me, when it happened, I called him out on it. I said, hey, this is uh, cheap tactics. Like, you know, I, it's one of the biggest things I say and promote in all of my MLB Perfect Inning Live videos is, like, yes, there's cheap tactics in the game, but that I, you know, I'm specifically against them. Right. And, like, with the cheap pitches, the only times I'll ever throw those is when my opponent throws them first. Right. And like we were saying, like, it wouldn't be as big a deal if it's just, like, ranked head-to-head against somebody you don't know. But, like, we're playing with other YouTubers here for, like, YouTube videos. Like, we don't want to squeeze bunt. Like, there's just no point. Like, actually play the game. Right. And the thing, too, going back to that is, so I call him out. He apologizes. He says he won't do it. Right? Right. And then he does it again. Yeah. And it's like, at that point, the apology meant nothing. Um, and, you know, it's just really hard to, you know, continually feel bad for someone when their actions don't match their words. I agree. And I'm not going to say I was perfect. I got probably more upset than I should have over it. But here's the thing, I won't deny that. Like, I'll just say at the same time, you know, everything I say and do is against these cheap tactics, so my words and my actions match up. Right. But yeah, I guess now we're in the bottom of the sixth, and we're up three to one. Just a little update mm-hmm. on the game. And we just struck out Vicky Kawaguchi, so there's one out, and Ichiro's up now. 
And in hindsight, Ichiro, we almost picked Ichiro. Remember, yeah, he was the one. He was would have been our next pick if we had one more pick. Right, like Ichiro has literally picked the pick before Voltage was going to tell me to pick him. Yeah. But here's the thing, and this was a mistake that I made, being completely honest in hindsight, is I had Albert Pujols as my third baseman. Albert Pujols was in a bad mood. His, uh, I think, fielding rating, which also affects his throwing, was at two baseballs out of ten, which is pretty bad. Um, and at, I didn't think much of it at the time. We were just kind of like, we're going to keep the lineup pretty much as is in play. Yeah. But in hindsight, the number of plays that he mishandled had certainly caused a lot more drama than there should have been if we had a better third baseman. Yeah. Again, not trying to spoil anything before it happens, but... But just a heads up. <laughs> right, just a heads up. Like, Albert Pujols at third base, hindsight was a terrible decision. But at the time, you know... And then there's this pop-up here. Randy Johnson right under the pop-up. And he just straight up misses it. So instead of getting a double play to end the game, it's first and second one out. Man. The game should have been over right there. Yeah, it should have ended the game. And Johnson's the pitcher. So... You know, it's not like I had him out of position. Definitely definitely should have made that catch. And, oh yeah, he absolutely should have. But now we're facing Chipper Jones, and I think this is about the time where commenting on the gameplay will come in handy and be really appropriate. And here we go. It's the bunt. No, it's the ghost of Squash! It's the Ghost of Squash Gaming. He does the absolutely unfair, crazy bunt. It goes all the way to the right field wall. They get a triple and two runs score, so the game's tied at three. And it's the Ghost of Squash coming back to haunt us. No. the, The reactions at the time, I promise you, were a lot better than this. (laughs) They were. But it's the ghost of Squash Gaming. I'm pretty sure Squash hacked the compu- the CPU. And oh, he definitely did. I think now we have two outs, I want to say. Yeah, we have two outs now. So if we get it's an out, we'll force right? extra innings. Yeah, it's three to three. We're facing Todd Helton. And I actually remembered a story based off of Todd Helton. That I'll tell when it's right to. There we go. Grounder to third. And that should be an easy out, but Pujols can't throw to save his life, and it's an infield single. The runner scores, and we lose 4-3. to three. Oh. Story. Back to when I played backyard baseball as a kid when the game was new. Todd Helton hit a walk-off home run against me for the only loss I had in what was supposed to be an undefeated season when I won the oh, World man. Series. So that's twice Todd Helton has ruined an amazing game for me. I think Todd Helton is squash. Todd Helton is the... Well, Chipper Jones is the one who bunted. So who... Uh, guys, vote. Who is the ghost of squash gaming? Is it Todd Helton or is it Chipper Jones? Um, you can use comments. I'll try to add a drop-down poll. I don't know if I'll know how to do that, to be honest. Yeah, I think that's about it. Anything you want to say before we sign off? I think I'm good. All right. Uh, On behalf of Voltage Sports, make sure to subscribe to him. I'd appreciate a subscription as well. Again, day two of the seven days of the bullpen collabs is tomorrow. Anyways, guys, MG, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, and as always, peace out.